Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mahira Maksud and today we will discuss the particle theory of matter. So to begin the lesson, I would like to share with you the learning outcome. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to explain that the particle model of matter can be used to explain the properties of the three states of matter, solids, liquid and gases. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space, like you. Most of the matter in our world can be found in three phases, solid, liquid and gas. The particle theory, you know, matter is made up of tiny particles. Particles of matter are in constant motion. Particles of matter are held together by very strong electric forces. There are empty spaces between the particles of matter and they are very large compared to the particles themselves. Each substance has a unique particle that are different from the particles of the other substance. Temperature affects the speed of the particles. If you higher the temperature, the faster the speed of the particles. Why it is important? Yes, the particle theory can help us explain many physical and chemical properties of matter. Pure substances are homogeneous. This is because there is only one type of particle present in the substance. Thus, they all behave the same. Now let's talk about the solids. The particles are he held tightly and packed fairly close together. They are strongly attracted to each other and they are in fixed position and they do vibrate. Liquid particles are fairly close together with some attraction between them. They are able to move around in all directions, but movement is limited by the attraction between particles. Gas particles are little attraction between them and they are free to move in all directions and collide with each other and with the wall of a container and they're widely spaced out. Properties of solids and their fixed form, they can change the denting, breaking or bending it. Solids are hard, high density, cannot be compressed and cannot flow. Solid has a fixed volume. Let's share with you the properties of liquids. Liquids have no fixed form. It takes the shape of the container. Not hard, high density, cannot be visibly compressed, and they can flow. Liquid has a fixed volume. Gas is no fixed form. Yes, it takes the shape of a container. They are, really, they are not hard, they have low lead density, and uh, can easily be compressed. It can flow, and it doesn't have a fixed volume. Um, let's share with you the definition of a diffusion. The movement of particles from a high concentration to the lower con concentration and diffusion is a result of a constant motion of particles. Particles make strange jerky zigzag motions and if they vibrate by themselves, however, it's caused by the collision between particles. Melting when a solid is heated, the particles gain energy and start to vibrate faster and faster. Initially, the structure is gradually weakened. Further heating provides more energy until the particles start to break free of the structure. The particles in a liquid are the same as in the solid, but they have more energy. Changing states like evaporating within the liquids, some particles have more energy than other. The more energetic particles may have enough energy to escape from the surface of the liquid as gas. Evaporation happens from the surface of the water. Boiling. If a liquid is heated, the particles are given more energy and move faster and faster expanding the liquid. The particles need energy to overcome the attraction between them. Eventually, even particles in the middle of the liquid form bubbles of gas in the liquid. And the particles in the gas are the same as they were in the liquid, they just have more energy. Fun fact, yes, the steam coming out of a boiling kettle can also be seen because some of the gas particles have condensed to form small droplets of water. Freezing and condensation. When a gas turns to a liquid or a liquid turns to gas, the particle lose energy to the surrounding. Now does it wrap up time to summarize the lesson? Uh, Let's talk about the state, state changing, melting, sublimation, evaporation, 
solidification, condensation, and sublimation. I hope you like the lesson. Thank you and allow this.